I just prefer playing summoner in a raid environment also because of being able to res. Like this. And then I join. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what is this mount? This mount is called uh, Ga Gabriel... Uh, Gabriel Alpha? Ga no, Gabriel Mark III. Gabriel Mark III. Gabriel Alpha is the other one. And they're from the newer areas in the game. Uh, you can also get them on the market board. Red Mage. Uh, the thing is, Red Mage doesn't have a res at this level. Otherwise, I would try that. Both cast res is really nice utility. It is really nice. It is really nice. I'm gonna quickly be right back. Uh, can I follow people in this game? Follow. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm back. Oh, I'm running forever. Okay. 
Um, oh! I see. <laughs> People running, yeah. So there must be a teleport here somewhere, right? Surely. Must be a teleport here. Yes. Nice, we made it. Okay. All right, we did this boss a little bit before, if you guys remember. Kill the daughters first, right? Kill the daughters before the sons. Wait, why are we killing the daughters before the sun? Actually. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong boss? Oh. Have I seen this fight? <laughs> well, which one was this? Okay, it was the one when he becomes immune in the middle and we're going around in the circle with the, the ball, the egg, and the cube. I remember now, okay. All right. Okay, I remember, I remember. Oh, and also I have to be near the egg to dot it. And then I, I damaged the cube, right? I think that's what it was. Is this coils? Yes! We're back to T9 Prague. Let's get this boss down today. Is it T9? T11. T11. Oh! I remember the stupid AOE in the middle got me every single time. It got me every single time. Okay, let's not do that today. We should snack on this, right? Oh. Yeah, when you get that, it's okay to stack, I believe. Oh, all tanks are dead. Okay. All right. Good start. Good start. Yeah. It's uh it's the third coil. I mean, sorry, it's the third turn. No. Yes, yeah, the third coil. Second boss. Turn 2. In total, it becomes turn 11. Math is hard, okay? Froggy Asti, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. It's the final coil even. Yes, yeah, second boss. First coil has five bosses. Second coil has four bosses. That's nine bosses. Third and the final coil has four bosses. And we're on the second boss there. In total, that's the 11th boss. Hopefully the hand movements makes things more clear. Okay. <laughs> Only <laughs> any Italians in the chat who now understands things better?
Oh god. I made it. Nice. Okay, battlefield. Now it can't be in the middle. Okay. All right. It seems like we have a lot of people who are experiencing this fight for the first time. Yeah, like there's a bunch of debuffs and I think people are confusing which ones you- not bunch, but which ones to stack on and when we should spread. <laughs> Dying on purple through There's no echo stacks, don't worry. <laughs> there's no stacks. Um, but yeah, so there's- there's- one of the debuffs that you get puts a line through you and goes to the very top, like... That's the one you have to stack on, right? When is it you have to spread? C stack, river spread. Of watching which blue red missile fries first. So where is the missile from? Oh, his heads. Two red beams mean split, one blue equals stack. Okay. Okay, let's try this. But yeah, for the people coming in and saying like Echo, like... I want to play with Echo because it gives me a good experience of the boss fight in general. If I do no Echo, I'm gonna have to be harsher on my party members to, you know, learn at a considerable rate. And uh, also I would have to consider, you know, potential voicing and I don't know it just it it takes away um it becomes more serious than I want it to be so I I I prefer to play it when I level which I believe makes it hard enough to have to experience and understand most mechanics and we're learning together there's people in here who know less about the fight than I do and I don't know much <laughs> uh like we're just playing as like a casual group having fun and um, we're playing it at min eye level, which means we still have to learn every single mechanic. We still have to learn every mechanic. Is Echo similar to LFR? No, you still have to know mechanics. You, you can't dodge all the mechanics at all. You have to know all the mechanics anyways. The only difference is that it leaves some error. Like some room for error, exactly. It leaves some room for error in case people mess up something. Uh, yeah, it's just a stat boost, exactly. I think min eye level makes it uh, like interesting enough. And that's that's how I see it. Like I was watching Summit and like that was exciting, you know, he was doing it no echo and stuff. But like like they were in voice together, you know, and like the the whole mood is quite serious and everything, and that is exciting in a different way. But it's not the way that I want to play this right now, especially not on like every content that I do. I, like I don't want every raid to like you know 
take like super super long. I do want to learn all mechanics, and I want to know the fights. But I'm I want to I want to leave some room for error in case people mess up. So yeah, that's it. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, playing with Echo, you still have to know all mechanics. So anyone who's like angry about it, any Echo Andes in the chat, come out so I can ban you. Go watch other streamers. This is how I play. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, I'm on final coil. Final coil. <laughs> Good stream. Man's been harsh most people. Yeah, I know most people that I saw were kidding as well. But I know that there are some people who are genuinely very serious about it. So I'm talking about the serious people. I know I know it's like not a large majority. But I think it's important to put it out there, you know? So people know what to expect from my stream. Oh, I think I'm gonna get hit by that. Yep. I'm gonna get hit by that, sir. Okay. Oh, this is not good. A minute. Let's see if we can not get hit by anything for a minute. happening. Let's see. Yep, nice. I think we should safely be able to go here now. Nice. Three seconds. Okay. Nice. I'm gone. From my struggle. Things are spawning. I think that means it's um, it's face change is specific. Yeah, I think it's no. Okay. You gave up a new world? No, no, no. I'm playing new world later today. Wait, it didn't work. How close do I need to be? There we go. Oh god. Where did this healer die? Oh, he's alive now. Oh, all DPS is dead now. What are you dying from? Oh, maybe people standing in the... In the lasers? I'll res DPS here. Oh, they're... Yeah, okay, they're stacked. Alright. Alright. Ren Karigani, thank you very much for the raid and host. Welcome, welcome. Yes, we're on the final coil. Yeah, so for everyone who's in the group now, we need to make sure that those three shapes are far away from each other. It's a, I guess it's a tank job, but in case you get aggro, um, I think the egg moves by itself and you guys handle the cube and the ball. Mm -hmm. 
Wait, the PvPers are here to raid? Oh, oh, wait. Do you like mainly stream PvP? Do you wish that you tried Final Fantasy earlier? I'm I'm not much of a person who's like I wish I'd done this. You know, I kind of like just enjoy what's happening right now, and uh, so I don't really think that much uh, like that. I just know like right now I'm enjoying this, and I'm glad that I did this right now. <laughs> Ren is an insane teacher. Oh. And wholesome streamer awesome great mindset yeah I, th I think it's a good mindset in general at least I try to because um, a lot of times like when we have a mindset of like could have should have would have uh, that kind of thing uh, getting stuck in the past I think can be bad for the brain so even applying it to like positive things I think it's good that's how I see it anyways Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and like, and like, there's always, there's always like a reason that, like, for example, if I had experienced this before, then I wouldn't have the experience of people who are experienced, like, uh, hyping my experience. If that makes sense, right? We signed you a group for the ad phase. Gotcha. Okay, let's see. Yeah, remember that the groups because um, like the, the the casters have to be on one of them, right? And then the physical damage dealers needs to be on the other one. Was that the best attempt I was coming in at? Uh, that was our best attempt today, I guess. We've done like two pulls, three pulls, two pulls. Um, and we did this, uh, we did some of this before, like a week ago or something, and then we uh, took a break, and now we're back at it. Casual Annie and Echo on. Unbelievable. Flap. If I didn't see your sarcasm in that message, I would have the ban hammer ready for you, okay? Let's go. <laughs> ban him. Excuse me? I'm not mad. Mad because small. 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 Elia. Yeah, and we're gonna be in the cube, yes? If you worry too much about what you did do in the past, you end up undermining your experience with the present. Yeah, absolutely. Also, uh, everyone's memory of the past is uh, biased. Every single person's experience um, or every person's memory of how things have been in the past is biased towards what you want to remember. Sometimes it's unconscious what you want to remember. You don't realize it, but that's what it is. And uh, so it's better to live in the now than to get stuck in the past, which is going to be skewed. Because uh, your brain remembers the things it wants to remember. And if you're a person who wants to be, like if your brain wants you to be sad, which is part of like, you know, potential depression, for example, then your brain will make sure to remember 
all the reasons why you should be sad. And it will not remember the reasons why you shouldn't be sad. It's just how the brain works. So trying to reprogram yourself to um, think about the now makes it so that you don't put too much emphasis in the past. And also one thing that can help is um, if you know that you are the kind to remember bad things more, whenever something good happens, write it down. Have a small journal. You don't even have to write like a whole story or whatever, but just like when you remember something good that happened or something good that you did, just write it down. Because then you have a book where you can like remember like, oh yeah, I did do that. You probably forgot because you only remember the bad things. But yeah, that's true. That did happen. I did do that. So that's like one advice I can give to people who find themselves in, in those shoes. And uh, don't note down the bad things. I mean, unless you unless it's something that you have to process, of course. If it's something they have to process, like something traumatic, then absolutely you should write about it, talk about it, you know, process it. But if it's not like something traumatic, if it's just like a little bit like, if it's just like a, a normal bad experience, uh, then uh, one way to try to forget that is by not writing it down and write down the good things that happened. Yeah, no, like many bad, bad experiences is like important to process as well, 100%. But it's just small things like let's say like let's say you go to the store and like this person like knocked knocked you and like made you drop the milk and instead of helping you just walks away just like for example that's not like a traumatic bad experience but your brain may, may remember it and you get so annoyed of random people like stupid people right that's like not worth noting down just forget about that it's not important but then this other person uh, who randomly passed by and noticed that you were carrying something heavy and maybe wanted to help you, uh, note that down. Note that down. Why are we talking about this again? I don't know. I, I sometimes get carried away talking about things related to mental health and I, I like sharing my thoughts on it. Did you write about the onion? <laughs> That's a bad experience, okay? That's not one I want to remember. <laughs> All right, we got this. Arrow fields, now we can't be close to the boss. Yeah, like that red line, that's where I know we need to stack, but I don't know how it looks like when we need to, like, how do people know we need to, we need to spread now, for example? I didn't see that. I didn't see the visual cue for that. The boss's heads, but like I'm trying to look, but I, uh, I don't see it. Okay, nerve gas again. Ooh. Like, is it gonna happen now? Okay, I'm watching the boss, boss's heads, I guess. Oh, one blue. Let me stack, yeah. Okay, wait, I didn't, I didn't see it do two reds, but people spread. Did I miss it? Did it happen? I missed it. Oh, both tanks are dead. That's okay. I don't know what happened, but... Hi, Maya.
Why are you saying Pepega or the cat jam? Is it Pepega? Is that why? What are you munching? Tomatoes! Raw tomatoes, cocktail tomatoes in this case. No raw onions, ew. I'm tomato gang, not onion gang. Annie's weird just snacking on tomatoes? What do you mean? Snacking on tomatoes is great. Right, Maya? Smell my hands? No? No smelling of hands? Hey, look at this. She's just chilling. She's just chilling. I'm gonna move my keyboard a little bit to give her more space. There we go. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready, check, ready. <laughs> God damn it, mama. <laughs> so jealous my cat never hangs out with me like that. Oh, cats are very special. She doesn't often hang out, so I'm appreciating her being here. Yeah, maybe she likes tomatoes too. And yes, we do have an Amy's Mario emote. Oh, oh and she's gone apparently. not she just wants to stand in front of me oh she's moving now okay I'm gonna try to see no tanks are dying again hmm okay uh, maybe maybe you guys can give me some insight so I can I can help somehow Is it, um, is it a specific attack? Is she susceptible to catnip? I don't know, I don't use catnip. They have to share the tank buster? Okay, let's see. Do our tanks know that? Paw touching. Oh, paw stretching.
Oh, we do know that he died before it. Okay. Do we know what, what he died from? Do we know what Danian died from? I died to damage from the autos and the swipe. Hmm. The swipe has to be absorbed by two tanks. That's a gift to the toe beans. Thank you. Doesn't look very comfortable for her. Oh, well, apparently she is. Apparently she is comfortable. <laughs> I don't know why she puts her head like under the monitor like this, but you know. <laughs> apparently that's comfortable. Sudden movement. You okay? Wait, did she like hear an insect or something? She's like suddenly moving. Oh, she's hearing you guys. She's coming to you, chat. Chat, beware. Be fair. Beware for tail swipe. Okay. I'm not sure what she's doing. <laughs> She found a hairpin. She keeps thinking these things are insects. Here, okay, you wanna come here? Oh yeah, she's ready, she's ready. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. The tanks have gone through some planning. Let's see if this works better. Yeah, that's why I'm using this thing now to try and collect hairpins and hairbands. Uh, because it's starting to get ridiculous. The head's doing the colors, let's see. Wait, when did he die? I didn't see when he died. He's been dead. I don't see when the spread happens.
this? Both dying at a good rate. Oh, avoid these, avoid these, avoid these. damage? Like, what killed me? The green eggs? Nerve gas is raid wide, gotta mitigate. Okay, so we need some kind of cooldown for that. Maybe stack up and do some healer cooldowns. Much for the gift that sub. Okay. Milton, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. Goodbye, Dino. Thank you very much for the gifted subs. Itachi Rasu, thank you very much for the four gifted subs. Uh, Cthulhu, thank you very much for the four gifted subs. Brutumus, Brutumus, thank you very much for the four gifted subs. Phantom Guy Lives, thank you very much for the gifted subs. I think that's been... And from early on, Mr. Hat with the gifted sub, Rastalian with the gifted subs, Froggy Austin with the gifted subs, Rainbow Dash with the gifted subs, Ivy King J with the gifted subs. Thank you guys. Good morning, good morning. People talking about Annie's Milkman on my server in New World. <laughs> Wait, your server? Are you not playing with us on EU Nav? Tetsuji? Are you winning? Almost. Almost. Mad because small. I'm not mad or small, okay? I'm a big independent woman. You mean the biggest Q time server? No. Mad because small. You have mad a point. Because small. You have a point. Alice Live, thank you very much for the gift that sells. We have a point. Oh. Because 
small. Man to kill small. Can that be in a different order sometimes? Like first red and then stock? Can it be like two reds and then one blue? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, I think I got hit by that. I didn't. Nice. I didn't see the blue one. I just saw the, the red. I think I got hit by the barrel thing after he was moving, but it's okay. I'm too slow to make it to the egg for now, so I'm just gonna hit this. Okay. And yeah, healers, once we get to the next phase, try to save some AoE heals cooldown for the big AoE. And we try to stack for it. But for now, we do this phase. People talked about the, the green. I don't think you're meant to hit the green things. Like, you can't even target them. Can you? Oh. You oh, it's too close. It's too close. He knows, he knows. Red light when you need it. It's a wipe, sadly. We had a few too many deaths. That's oh, okay. We go again. We go again. Nicola. Thank you so much for the 50 euro donation. And a very nice message, too. Absolutely loving your positive streams and watching you play 14. Keep it up, Annie. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for being generous and very kind, too. Thank you. And try any Heaven Sword raids yet? No. That's also why I want to complete the coils because I feel like I haven't properly completed ARR yet, you know? <laughs> What's a fuse? Any fuse? Uh, so when I was playing Among Us, I could never name myself any fuchsia in the lobbies because my name was too long. Like there was a character limit. So then I started calling myself any fuse in that game. So Fuchsia is like the short version of Fuchsia, I guess. And then in this game, when I tried to make my first character, somebody had taken my name. So then I called myself Fuchsia instead. <laughs> That's the full story. Short? Why are you guys saying short? This has nothing to do with short or small. No, I'm not going to call myself Annie Short. What the hell? Say not the real Annie then? True. Whoever made my first character is the real one. <laughs> that was a nice echo. Are you really short? No. I am 157 centimeters tall. Okay. In, in freedom units, that's 5'2". Very tall. Man, because 
small. Very tall, okay. Because small, mad because small. <laughs> That healer saving my life. gonna hit? Like, do we know which players need to separate or is it, like, not this big? Amy probably using a booster seat. Very nice laughing at me, but you know who laughs last? You know who laughs last? Me, when I'm on an airplane and I can sit and relax and stretch my legs. Mm-hmm. Can you do that? <laughs> no, oh god. <laughs> People... Everyone's saying no now? Shit got too real. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. <laughs> too far. <laughs> too far. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. oh. My legs are usually hanging above the floor. Oh, that's my life. That's my life. I, I was, so one of the things that made this chair incredible for me, it was my first chair where I actually sit back properly and I can reach the floor. I used to have a DX Racer chair before and uh, my, my I, I wouldn't comfortably sit back like properly on the seat and reach the floor. Nope, not even close. Now I'm sad because tall. Thanks, Annie. <laughs> I'm sorry. I went too far. Oh, uh, this, um, stop, stop the caster damage for a bit. Stop the damage, stop the damage, stop the damage. If you want to damage something, you can come with me here to the egg. Come close to the egg and hit the egg instead. The egg is immune if you're far away. We need to wait for the melee group to catch up. Oh god. Oh no. Oh! Wait, did it get consumed? Or did we make it? I think we made it. Holy moly. Okay, be ready for healing cooldowns once we swap. This one. Perfect. Oh god, not perfect. Okay. <laughs> oh, addle? Oh, I can addle? Okay, yeah, I should do that next time. Okay. Yeah, 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 I'll addle next time. Is there anything else? Like, I saw that they did use the bubble. Like, our scholar used that bubble. What else can we, can we use? Really? 
reprisal. Yeah, yeah, I'll use Adol. I'll use Adol. Who has Adol? Does everyone have Adol or is it just me? It's casters? Okay. Am I the only caster? Oh, yes, okay. Alright, so it's my job to make sure that we get Adol up. Okay. All right, so I'll make sure I add all, uh, what, what is reprisal? You said it's a tank thing? Oh, it's LB? Oh, should we use LB? No? Oh, oh, reprisal is a skill, it's not LB. Okay. It's a 60 second, 10%. Oh, oh, that's really good. Okay, okay. Did we did we not use reprisal this time? Because that means if we add reprisal and adul, we should be good. Because that was close. It reduces damage if the time it. Uh, what scholar ability is that? The scholar did use the the dome. I, I saw that we were in the dome. Fey Illumination. Fey Illumination increases healing done to the target, right? That doesn't decrease the damage. Or does it? Oh, it does reduce damage as well. 5%. Okay. Alright, so yeah. In that case, yeah, we could use Fey Illumination as well. Oh, the bubble was a bit late. The damage. Okay. All right. Well, I'm I'm sure our scholar will uh, keep that in mind now. for the meteors too and if yes when are you supposed to use it does it have to be before the heads shoot the blue and the red Sacred soil. Yeah, that's the dome, right? So our scholar just needs to do it early. Maybe just do it as soon as the cast starts. From the boss. minutes remaining to complete. Uh, 
How's the melee one looking this time? The melee one is still a little bit behind, guys. Oops, I canceled my asthma twice, I didn't mean to. Uh, we need to stop on the caster one. Stop on the cube. How long have you been playing Final Fantasy? Um, like regularly, a uh, month and a half, I think. Might, maybe it's nearing two months. Something like that. I didn't add all. Sorry. Oh, is it this one? Okay, I did add all that. Oh, how did I die? Oh, did I die to cleave? Okay. Why did the uh, tanks die? Uh, oh yeah. Here we are, saving people's marriages. All right, let's go. to the hitbox so your damage isn't blocked but you also don't get damaged oh isn't like the tank damage more like an angle towards the front of the boss or is there like a circle in the boss that killed me you are cleaved yeah then that would be like a an angle to the head of the boss i'm assuming right The circle inside the boss does damage too. Was I in it though? 
Was that what killed me? Oh god. No. Reds first, that means spread first, right? And then stuff. Learning! <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, th does anyone have experience knowing when you're supposed to idle if you want to reduce the meteor damage? At what point is the damage calculated? During the cast bar? What's the cast bar? I thought it just does the animation. What's the meter cast bar called? No, look, he didn't cast anything. Now he did two reds and then it's a blue incoming. There is no cast bar. I'm missing something? nerve gas? Oh, no. Uh, I meant for the meteor. Is it good to do for nerve gas? That's the tank hit, yeah? Oh, no, that's this one. Yeah, we shouldn't get hit by that, so I'm, I'm not gonna reduce the damage from that. M yeah, maybe meteor is the wrong word. <laughs> It's um, the missiles, yes, missiles. Okay, the caster one is at too much damage again. Uh, I'll damage it lower and then I'll stop and just focus on the egg. It's too close, it's too close. Okay. Nice. Hey, I'm pretty proud of myself, you know, I'm being very efficient with my damage. Making sure it goes somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like our the group on the cube is wait you guys said i'm the only caster then how is the damage on the cube so much higher than the ball I guess we're standing on a one one. I mean, with our green. Oh! We go back. Okay, we're gonna stand on one. Oh oh oh! oh. Tanks getting wrecked. I raised one of them. They're both getting those. Okay, it's rough. Uh, let's see. Is 
mostly coordination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just have to figure out the each thing. Um, like both tanks died very close to each other. The green tethers came too close. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, if they survive till LB3. Anyways, okay. So I'm gonna pat, get my buffs up. There we go. Okay. All right. Stack on this. Oh, there's the most tanks again. I can res one of them. I can res both ma manually. <laughs> Progress. Okay. All right. Um. Do we have specific positions for specific tether colors, or do we just spread? hope for the best yes yeah, so we have raised eight thousand seven hundred dollars for the charity Prioritize clockwise movements. If me and Danian are between A and B uh, for tether, the other pair should be between one and two. Wait, do tanks always have a tether with each other? Yes? Okay. I see. Okay. So you always want to stay opposite the tanks. Um... Oh, okay, so now I get Okay, you don't mean that tanks always have tether, but if a tank has tether, he is tethered with another tank. Okay. All right.
Okay, let's go. Molten Blade with the four gifted subs. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, the tether people have to like stick together and be away from the other tether people. I remember last time I was doing this fight, I got hit by everything. Including this like middle thing. I got hit by that like every single time. I don't know why, I think my brain was just fried that day. away from tether wait there's no tether now is there There's after that phase, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's somebody with delayed stream or something. Uh, cube is too close. Cube is still too close. Oh. Um. What happens now? He's like a cube and egg put together. Is there more things going on? Now you wipe? Yeah. Yeah, it was too close for too long. That's okay, we, we go again. We go again! <laughs> became family that's it it's okay we go again yes I'm ready let's go Yeah, the main thing that we need to get down is the tethers. I think everything else we we, we know, but you know, it's it's normal to sometimes mess up even things you know. I also understand that there's a pattern to the nerve gas. I didn't realize that before. 
so that's nice that we now know that. You know, nerve gas now you can swim with her. You have to get, yeah, exactly. Like, for example, here it was on his right side, right? So I know that I should be safe by going to his right side. Oh, it's fine. I thought it was too close. No, it wasn't fine. I'm slowed. I was busy talking. Um, but yeah, basically, it's like one in front, one to the right, one to the left, kind of. Um, can you imagine three pizza slices. But not exactly because, so the nerve gas is half, it's not just one third, but the direction is three directions. You're not milking chocobos, that's bannable too. I'm not milking chocobos, so, so okay. One there, now this side, that means next one will be on that side, so I'm actually very safe going back here. Closer, so my healers can reach me. Okay. The ball is doing better this time. A little bit behind, but overall pretty good. Okay. I'll focus this one. my camera for a second. Can I actually be close to the tether people? Like, I don't actually know. I think as long as I'm not tethered, it's fine. each other. The other one went on tanks again, I think. Oh, no? Are they too close to each other? I res- they're both rezzed. Ooh. 
lose the dream. No! I don't have to cast. And I don't even have the mana. I do now. I'm hard casting. Hard casting, hard casting, hard casting. Oh, he's already res. I'm wasting time. Great. Oh, tethered people, move, move, move. I have a swift cast this time. Stack on this, stack on this. One or two people alive in the end. I had no mana. I wanted to resurrect. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> awesome. Holy shit, Sora with the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Celebration subs, yeah! Thank you so much! <laughs> we did it! I wasn't sure! I was like, oh, uh, maybe? So I made sure, I, I renewed my dots, you know, and I was like... Oh. That was close. That was close, and we did it. Good job, team. Let's see, what loot is there? Dreadworm Bracelet of Healing. And of slaying. I'll just greet everything. Pass these. Whoo! Story time? Oh yeah, it's story, right? When I leave? I believe? But yeah, thank you guys for doing a great job learning this fight with me. Like, I have to say, remember guys, a lot of people here, this was new for them. A thousand bits from Amakiria, thank you. You wanna take a picture? Sure, we can take a picture. Um let's see. Or wait, if I if I move if Sapphire if you move here, Sapphire, and then I sit here, then the picture gets centered. Wait, but now we're not wait, wait, wait. Okay, we need to be okay, let, let's go like here. All right, yes, like that. Okay, you can come forward a little bit more on <laughs> these dances. <laughs> and Vesper has come forward. Sapphire, move a step back. You can see on the stream how it looks like. Elia, one step back, and I think we should be good. Awesome. Oh, you have the 2B, but you made it metal blue. I just noticed. The brushes, these are emotes. <laughs> They're emotes. No, that was turn 2. Well, turn 11 in total. Turn 11 in total. G pose. Oh no, you're stuck in that pose now. <laughs> Do you want to be in that pose? I'm stuck in this pose. I'm I'm stuck in 
painting black. Wait, I want to be painting pink in that case. Okay. There we go. Okay, I need to put some lights. That looks good, okay. Okay, C cleaned everything up. Okay, this is good, I think. With the pink ground. <laughs> Take a screenshot like this. And then... We have one like this. There we go. You can't see my face? I, I made sure, I zoomed in so we can see it. Or are you this one, actually? Then maybe, yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> Sometimes doing certain emotes does mean that it becomes harder to see your face. <laughs> Blocked by face cam? No, that's okay. When I take my screenshot, you can see everyone. Mysterious scholar, yep. I look like I've lost the tooth. There we go. Having fun cleaning. <laughs> All right. Yes. Blocked by face cam, unfollowed. Awkward smile, actually true. It was a bit of an awkward smile. Fox Poro, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Are you supposed to be a bunny maid? Yeah, I guess we are. I guess we are. Yeah, T11 officially down. Uh, it was a very, um, was a very interesting down, but it's down nevertheless. <laughs> it's down nevertheless. What the hell? Is that the Mega Flare emote? Okay, so what do we do now? She cleared 11? Yes, we did! Yeah, it was a clean kill, no deaths. We were like, wow, you know? We just had one of those really good tries. Why this looks like a model of Dalamud, yes. Oh my god. I just realized Alice and Alfino have slightly different colors on their clothing. So you can tell them apart. I didn't I, I thought they were identical. A model of Dalamud, yes. Fox Spirit 23 gifted a tier one sub to see and pull. The hair is also opposite. When it's opposite, it's hard to, for me at least, remember which one was which. Uh, because one is left, one is right. Uh, like the earring too is opposite, but it's hard for me to remember which one's which. Uh, but when it's a color, it's a lot easier for me. Like one had the green things, one had the, the pink ones. For millennia, Bahamut must have gazed at this unchanging view. Trapped inside a prison that was scarcely large enough to contain him, Unable to move, denied the release of death. How his hatred for men must have burned. 
The hog must have gazed at this unchanging view. Interesting. Okay. And that hatred found an ideal vessel in Nile Van Darnus. In many ways, Bahamut is to be pitied, not loathed. One minute remaining? Do I do I get kicked mid cutscene? Uh, but knowing the true extent of his fury, I am more convinced than ever of the necessity of our endeavor. Oh, different hair ribbon color too. That's true. Besides, his is not the only soul that cries out for vengeance. I'm back where I was before we went in there. Cool. Yeah, we did it. T11. Time for T12. Uh, I think we do normally give it one pull. So let's do that. I'm going to see if I'm able to sit on this now. No, I'm still not. Um, uh, two people left to party. If you guys want to come in again, we're just going to go in and do a quick pull of T12. Sad times, yeah. Oh, Damien had to go? Okay. Well, if anyone wants to come in just to just to get a pull. There's a big cutscene going into. Oh. In that case, let's do it next time. I didn't realize. Okay, no, let's do that next time then when we're like fully like immersed and focused on it. Thank you for letting me know. Uh I'm gonna leave the party in that case. Wait. How do I leave leave par Leave disband. Yes. And then I invite you. And then we can fly. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> now we can go to the flag. Uh, flag. I think it's around here. Back to doing any things. Just don't milk the joker bones. Oh my god. But yeah, that's so cool. That means we have T12 left and T13, right? Oh, it's inside the cave? Oh, okay. Wait, is it? Oh, I need these for hunt though. You can drop me here. The alms to the west. Oh, that means like it's further here. But, or inside the cave, like you said. Or inside the cave. Oh. Got pets out using pet cooldowns. All right. My chocobo is here with me too. Wait. Oh, did I accidentally summon another pet? Oh, what happened? Here we go. Was it three I needed? Yeah, I got some terrier seals. Nice. Okay. Wait, so. Are you sure? Are you sure it's inside the cave? It says 256 yams to the northwest. Maybe it is the cave. Yeah, it's inside. Okay. Two hundred thirty-three to the west. I mean, the west is here. I can't really go west. going further away from it. <laughs> That's not the cave? Yeah, I'm starting to think that. I'll still check this out. Yeah, I definitely went further away. Um, ooh. 
Hey, this looks cool. Is it does everything? Uh, pretty much everything. Rawhide, uh, aged wood, um, even like the reagents, like sandpaper. Um, I don't dare jump off. <laughs> so let's fly. <laughs> Oh, you're not in the team. Let me invite you. Uh, I just want to discover it like this. 